What's up guys, Corey Smith here, bringing you guys another week of the Futures Trading Challenge here, trading crude oil. Um, just want to update you guys here, it is the week of March 25th, Monday, we're going to be doing another week here, showing you guys the account, showing you where we're at, we're at about 50000 just under $700, up $700 in the account going into this week. So, um, anybody who's new to these videos, I'm going to be showing you guys every trade that I take throughout the week. The reason I took the trade, the outcome of the trade, and the account balance, how it performs. I'm taking a new strategy, um, a strategy I just created for trading oil futures, and I'm taking my risk management, my discipline from my trading uh, professionally, and applying it to a new market and showing you guys in real time how it performs, how I do, and um, just showing you guys, you know, taking a trader's strategy and discipline and moving into a new market and seeing how it works. So this is all live, this is all raw, this is all um, you know, showing you guys everything, not hiding anything. Wins, losses, drawdown, profits, you name it. It's all on the table for you guys to see. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take you guys step by step every day of the week. I'll do a recording for each day and I'll go over what trades I took that day, what the outcomes were, and then I will move on to the next day and basically recap at the end of the week how we're doing on the overall strategy. I'm going to be tweaking the strategy as we go. I'm going to be updating it, adding stuff to it, taking stuff away to it to try to um, increase its performance. But all in all, um, this is it. This is what we're doing. We're just taking this discipline and strategy and putting it to work in the markets and seeing what we can do. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump into Monday's trading, show you guys throughout the week how we're doing here, and uh, yeah, keep you guys posted. All righty, guys, so here's Monday's trading. Um, I've been away this weekend and Monday got back early morning Tuesday so um, not a very active start to the week however this is where what we're seeing price action wise right this is Monday's price action we have this range bound formed we actually did take a trade Monday morning I was out of town but I had my stuff with me I did take a trade here on Monday I got long on this breaking close above the range there we drop it down to the 15 minute you can see what I'm talking about so price moved all the way below I got on to start trading around here price closed up above here and it actually whipsawed back against us and then that stopping us out for a small loss so Monday's trading resulted in a loss um, I was out of town wasn't very active but all in all you can see the price action on the day was just choppy right we just traded in value, traded within this range. Throughout the day, there was no clean move, so no matter what we would have done, we wouldn't have made profits with our strategy. Nothing really to take away from the day other than wasn't the best environment, false breakout, not much follow through either way. And, uh, you know, luckily we only took a small loss, moving on to the next day, two step forward, one step back. Um, now we're moving into Tuesday, and again, guys, I'm traveling, so it's gonna be tough to trade Tuesday. Um, but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we should see some good setups. I should be updating you guys on those as we go here. So um, that is Monday. Now we will take it into Tuesday. All right, guys, we're now on the Tuesday's trading session. Um, as you guys can see, this has been a different type of day price action wise. We have been moving from bottom left to top right. And today would have been a good bullish day for trading. Unfortunately, my flight coming home was delayed multiple times. I didn't get in until really early Tuesday morning. Um, so, unfortunately, I was unable to catch any trades here. Price has been bullish all day, though. We have been seeing continued bullish price action here out of oil. And as you guys can see, this just continues moving higher. $60 a barrel is acting as resistance again. Throw this horizontal line out here. You guys can see price is rejecting $60 a barrel once again today. It is a strong psychological level. Looking left in the past. If this chart loads properly. Um, looks like we're going too far back in data. But basically, this is a psychological resistance level. And $50 a barrel, $60 a barrel, $70 a barrel, they're all going to be strong levels to break. They're all going to hold as support and resistance levels strong. And that's what we're seeing here. So tomorrow, we possibly could see on Wednesday and break out to the upside above $60 a barrel. We temporarily did today and then reverse back under it. 
So my guess is price action will probably base around in this range until um, Brent and then WTI opens tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. Price could sell off again. Either way, we'll be looking for our range to be formed. We'll be looking for our breakout on Wednesday session. But Tuesday, no trade. Tuesday was a no trade day. It was a travel day for me. I was really busy um, and not behind my computer. And that is the worst time to trade is when you're not fully focused, fully there in your routine, in your structure. So I didn't place any trades. Tuesday's a no trade day. All right, guys. So going into Wednesday, count balance is... 50,484 after our loss on Monday of about 180 bucks. Uh, we're still standing strong. We're still above our starting point and we're still in profits. All right, guys, that does it for Tuesday. Let's see what Wednesday has in store for us. Alrighty, guys, it is now Wednesday morning. It is just about 6 a.m. Eastern time and I have already taken a couple of trades on the day. Unfortunately, got stopped out. Um, as you guys can see on this chart right here, these two X's are where I went short. So we had our 15 minute break and close below this range, right? So this morning we had price range bound in this value area. We had price break and close below here, got in short on two stops on two entries. I mean, testing the two entries here. So got in at the 5974. Our stop was up here at 59.86. Unfortunately, just barely kicked us out of both of our stops. And now what's it doing? It's going in our direction. It's heading down to our target down here at 59.45. So unfortunately, today's a lesson learned. I typically have been entering with a 15 tick stop. So I would have gotten in here at 59.74. Would have set my stop 11, 15, would have had my stop up here. Looks like it might have still just barely kicked us out before rolling over. But either way, this unfortunately is just one of those trades that, you know, hurts as a trader, but it's part of the game. So we got in short here, price reversed on us, stopped us out here, took a small loss on both positions, totaling to a $260 loss total. $300 is our daily limit. We're done on the day here at 260. Our count balance is now back down to 52.16. So obviously we're still in the profits, but we're down to being up only 216. So um, unfortunately, trade went against us this morning. Done for the day here. It's Wednesday. We have news coming out at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. That is going to stop us from trading. We're not going to be trading anymore today, so we're going to be back on Thursday. Hopefully, we have a little bit of a better setup Thursday. Hopefully, our trade works out, but this is the game, guys. Uh, we're still learning. We're still tweaking the strategy. This is one of the tweaks that I made today. I realized back testing, going back in my results, that we need to be entering heavier volume when we do get the breakouts and taking small losses when they don't work out. And um, it will equate to, for one, better entries, um, bigger profits, and shorter moves. Basically, when you have more volume on, a shorter move can make you more money. <clears throat> but also, the ability to have two trades on at a time, for me, is massive. And it's something that I need to build into this strategy because when I have a winning trade and it hits my first take profit, that's great. I'm, I'm taking the win. But a lot of times that trade will continue going in my direction and it could end up being a massive winner and instead we're taking our profits at our target like we're supposed to and it's just not leading to as big a gain as it could. So uh, we're making some tweaks, making some adjustments. Unfortunately, this right here is already uh, almost at our target. So this would have been a nice short, would have been a nice trade, but it did come back and stop us out. So unfortunately, we had this false pullback stop us out moved lower and now as you guys can see price is nearing our target so moving on to another day guys this wraps up wednesday news day so took a couple early trades unfortunately got stopped out and now we're moving on all right guys so that does it for today we'll see you tomorrow on thursday all righty guys good morning it is um not more than a few guys but morning here thursday uh, march 28th another trading day here in crude oil 
As you guys can see, coming into this morning on Thursday, we had a nice range. We had a nice value area. Price was trading between the support and resistance at around 59.05 to 59.50 area. Um, so about a 50 tick range price was trading between. This morning, my first trade, I got in short with the break and close below here. I woke up in this candle, got behind the charts, got settled, saw what was going on, and got in here. Um, had a 15 tick stop so that if we went back into the range and false breakout, it took us out, and that's what it did. Came up here, stopped us out right there for minus 15 ticks, minus 150 bucks. Went up, rejected resistance, came down, based a little bit, and closed below the level again, 59.05, took another shot, 15 tick stop, price sold off in our favor. Um, I got out here at 74, I got in here at 59.04, so it was a 30 tick win, perfect risk to, perfect, uh, yeah, risk to reward, profit target. As you guys can see here, we lost the first trade, won the second, we're still up 130 on the day, so we're up 13 ticks on the day. Um, obviously, we'd like that to be bigger, but we are in profit. The account now is at fifty thousand three thirty nine, so um, one hundred twenty three buck dollar profit on the day um, net, which is after our seven dollar commission fee. So one hundred thirty dollars was prior to the commission. But um, we got out here. If I was on a bigger account, trading bigger lot sizes, I would be trailing this right now. Right now, I would have our stop most likely above this pivot here on this pullback, waiting to catch the next ride lower, and I would be trailing my stop down. So unfortunately at this time, we're still only trading one contract at a time. Um, I would like to get this risk parameter increased. Maybe I'll uh, go up to a higher count. I wanna be able to trade two lots. I'm really missing out on a lot of big winners. This account size could be much higher than this. We could be close to the finish of the challenge right now if I was able to trail some stops and let some winners go um, so with only one position size we are limited I've been going over this with you guys but that's something we'll work on I'll figure out for next week what I'm gonna do to fit to get that going um, not sure if I can upgrade accounts without resetting the status and I want to do this challenge live with you guys till it either breaks or busts so if that's the case we'll just continue on our way but um, this was the setup for today, guys. I'm done for the day. I'm going to close out these charts, so I have no inclination to trade. If I sit behind this chart, I'm going to want to continue to trade. If it pulls back and retests, I'm going to be like, well, that's a nice setup. There's my strategy. Let's go short. But I, risked, I, I hit my limit for the day. So hit my take profit. If I didn't lose that first trade, I would be looking for another trade here. I'd be looking for a pullback, get a retest, nice rejection, look to short that. However, because I lost the first trade, Took profits on the second one, done for the day. Tomorrow's a new day, next week's a new week. We have a new month starting next week as well, so I'm going to lock it in here, done for the day. I'll come back with you guys on Friday's trades and we'll go from there. All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It is now um, Friday morning, March 29th. It is 6.30 a.m. I uh, just wanna show you guys today's setup. As you can see, our range was identified with this um, blue box here we've got a nice value area between 5970 5940 price was range bound between that and then um, as you guys can see we got a breakout here and we got a breakout close above by the time I got to the computer we we're on this candle this morning waking up and got in long here at 5974 and price ranged around a little bit as you can see here and then price shot higher our target was around 60 to 60 um 05 region unfortunately by accident i was trying to move something with my sell stop order and i hit the wrong thing and it took me out of the position here at 59.95 um so it was a 20 tick gain still a nice win but I mean, this looks like it's gonna break higher and at least go up to 60.05 where we wanted to try to take profits at. So unfortunately, price did um, close unintentionally. I did close price unintentionally um, up here. But either way, still 20 tick gain. 
Still a nice win on the day. Um, Friday, we're hitting resistance here to the left. So, going to be done here. I will, as usual, guys, keep an eye out for if we do get a perfect pullback retest setup, um, then I'll potentially take another swing with a tight stop. But um, most likely going to be done here for the day. Bought long here, sold short to cover, take profit here. As you can see, we're testing the $60 a barrel level again. Um, I wanted to take profits in this range because we might reject that resistance. We might reject that psychological level. Um, so we'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep you guys updated with how it goes. Daily has still been range bound up here. Um, but as you can see, it looks like we're breaking through that level. Either way, I'm done for the day though, right? I got long here. Unfortunately, by accident took my profits, but you can't go broke taking profits. So I won on the day and we are at 50,545 on the account. So uh, almost flat for the week, but did see some drawdown, came back. So uh, we're right around the 50,545 level, guys. We're still working on this. Another um, week in the books. I'll recap the week, what we can do better, how we can improve moving forward, and we'll continue to tweak the strategy and improve the trading here, guys. All right, thank you. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this. That was Friday's trades. I'll catch you in the recap. Alrighty guys, it's Friday, uh, March 29th, end of the day, wrapping up another week here. Um, this is our first full month down. Uh, as you guys can see here, we started on March 1st. It's the 29th. April 1st is Monday, so this is the first month down. As you guys can see, throughout the month, our high was 50,791. Our low was 49,949, and right now we're currently at 50,545. So um, down about 100 bucks on the week, pretty much flat on the week. Um, but now we do have some data to work with. I know I've been telling you guys as we're going through this, as we're forward testing this strategy, as we're journaling, as we're seeing how it performs, we're learning a lot about it. Learning about the oil markets in general, but learning about this specific strategy, how it works, how it doesn't work. Um, so essentially now we have some data to work with. Now we can make some tweaks to the strategy. We can try some different things out. We can, you know, make a little bit of an adjustment to see what's been working, try to focus more on that, what hasn't been working, try to scrap that, work it out. Um, but as you can see, important things, we've traded 19 days, we've won 58% of them. So about six out of 10 days we've been winning. Um, and this is the other important thing. Our average winning trade is 268, average losing trade is 141. Um, so we're still maintaining our two to one risk to reward. And that's really the reason we're up because we've only won 38% of our trades. We're still right around that 40% win um, area like we've been at. The biggest thing though to take away from this past month of trading this system is anybody who knows my Forex trading knows that I have multiple entries in my positions. I have multiple take profits. I have an initial take profit and then I have either a second take profit or I trail my take profit. Um, that's something I've been unable to do with this challenge account. Unfortunately, I didn't really think of that in advance, but with my risk parameters, I'm only trading one contract at a time. And in futures, you can't close a partial contract. You can close one contract, open one contract. So when I take a trade and it hits my profit, I have to cash it all out there. The problem with that is when you trade the way I do, you want to have big winners, right? So we take a lot of small losses so that we can get those big winners that make the losses worth it. And unfortunately, only having one position, we're not being able to take advantage of that full um, winner. You know, the big winners, we're not getting them right now. And it's unfortunate, but we're going to have to make some adjustments and figure out what I can do. I'm hesitant to lower my stop loss distance to be able to put on a second contract because a lot of times these breakouts pull back a little bit and that'll kick me out and then it'll go in our direction and then we won't be winning anything. So um, I'm going to have to work that out. I want to upgrade to a bigger account size so that I can trade two contracts. The only thing is I'll reset all this data if I do that, and I don't want to do that. So we're going to stick with it for now, see if we can continue to climb and edge higher. Um, but all in all, uh, the strategy's a little more than break even, so that's definitely working. If you take 99% of traders, give them this challenge account, after a month of trading, 
19 full days and I don't even know how many trades um, definitely a good amount uh, I can I can bet you a majority nine out of ten people will not be in profit so um, you know my discipline and, and strategy following is showing here it's showing you guys you know how a professional trader can take on a new market they've never traded before and um, stay afloat and most importantly but um, hopefully we're gonna be able to continue to grow this account I would like to this past week alone I think three of my five winners or whatever it was um, if I had my trailing stop in place like like what I ideally want to do is I want to have that take profit when it hits position one contract comes off the other contract I adjust my stop loss to let's say halfway to the profit target and then as it moves higher I trail it I, I like using the 20 SMA on a five minute chart we'll try out on oil or 15 minute chart let's say and you trail it with the moving average and you continue to ride that strong breakout that trend until it turns far enough against you to hit that moving average then you take your profits and go three of the trades I took this week would have been massive winners if I would have been trading a second contract this would be well over fifty one thousand dollars from those three trades I had this week that were winners that just took off hit my target and then just kept on running and right now I'm just following my plan um, and my plan calls for that so not really anything I can do other than improvise make adjustments figure out how I can start taking advantage of those trades and go from there so that's what I'm doing now that's what I'm doing I'm testing I'm forward testing I'm looking at my journal and I'm trying to figure out what I can do better all right guys so that wraps up this week's trading again we ended the week end the month at 50,545 so we're still up on the account um, haven't broken any of the rules we haven't exceeded the thousand dollar loss limit we haven't traded more than five contracts at any time we haven't gone down the drawdown limit which is 48,000 we haven't gone below that um, we've traded a minimum of five days the only thing we haven't done yet is hit three thousand dollars profit and again guys it's really limiting with trading one contract but we're on our way one month and we're already up so uh, it's one percent but we're up so let's continue to grow this let's continue to move and I'll show the journey to you guys the entire way as we go live on un unedited right I'm showing you guys every trade I take without cutting any of them out and you guys can see this is proof so every trade that I've taken you guys can look look back at it and see every single trade I've taken you guys want to go back and double check it's all right there all right guys that does it for the week I hope everybody has a great weekend great week and um, I will definitely see you guys on Monday morning.